Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 19th video as part of our series of video of the playlist Power of Data Analysis. Today we will see yet another exceptional report which would help in forensic audit. This report basically gives information of interbank transfers. Let us go to tally and explore this exceptional report or forensic audit report of interbank transactions. This exceptional report is very simple and straightforward. This report will provide information related to amounts being transferred from one bank account of the company to another bank account of the company. This forensic report is extremely relevant from an auditor's data verification point of view. Basically, this report provides the list of interbank contra entries. This report will help to analyze or investigate as to why there are so many interbank transactions. If any payment has to be made by the company, the same can be done from any one bank without making a transfer entry to another bank and making payment from that particular bank. This report also helps to identify if any amounts are withdrawn from the receiving bank which may not be of business payment or business in nature or it could be towards personal withdrawal. This is where the report will help the auditors to get clarification from the client based on the exception that is getting reported here. Let us drill down and view this report. In the particulars column, the name in bold here on top is the bank from where the amount has been transferred. And the second line is the bank name in normal font is the receiving bank. The amount is shown along with the instrument date and the bank date. In case, if the instrument date and the bank date is different, we will notice here the instrument date is 18th of August, but it has got cleared on 19th of August. Probably a check would have been made, but deposited on 19th. So the next column will display the number of days delay between the instrument date or normally the voucher date and the bank reconciliation date. In Tally Prime, the user can conduct bank reconciliation manually or through auto bank reconciliation feature provided from Tally Prime release 6.0. You can check on auto bank reconciliation from the playlist name release 6.0 as shown here to understand the configuration and bank statement import. Additionally, if you want to view the ledger transaction, select the bank ledger. The cursor is on HDFC bank. Now, if you want to view the transactions related to HDFC bank, apart from the bank transfers, click on show ledger, which is F8. Click here. It will take you to the ledger transaction of HDFC bank escape and if you want to view the other bank state bank of India select this and again click on show ledger and we will now see the list of transactions or related to state bank of India escape we can further explore through F12 configuration for additional information so click on F12 configure and you can see the various additional informations can be enabled through this configuration. You can go through these options that are available and set the option that you want to view by clicking on that option and setting it to yes. And once you have modified the configuration, save the configuration and you will get the report as per the additional information that you have configured. I hope this report especially for the auditors will give a fair idea of the number of times the amount being transferred from one bank account to another bank account. And this would basically help you to analyze further for the reason for these transfers. So thank you all once again for 
staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.